Good evening, those who are here, those who are here uh, virtually. We thank God for another Wednesday and another Bible study. We thank Him for the privilege of kindness and tender mercy. And all of His bounty for wonderful blessings in this world. The promise that He wanted to give it, we thank Him. Let's pray. Most gracious and wise Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bounty for the wonderful blessings you have stored upon us. And even when we get through, we thank you. You are better than us. We are to ourselves. We are always better than us. We pray God your blessing as this life to lead in. Get everything you've done and said and bring your honor, bring your glory, have your way to me, God. And we will grow together. As we grow together, we will learn together. And we will have to reverse that. As we learn together, we will grow together. God, help us to God. Be the servant to come in these last and evil days. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. We pray and we thank you. Amen. Tonight we'll look at Revelations chapter 3, verses 7 through 9. Revelations chapter 3, verse 7 through 9. Tonight, surprisingly, I'm going to read the King James. This evening, we'll read the King James this evening. We'll also elaborate, expound on King James as we normally. Uh, also, we're, this is the sixth church of the seven churches. Uh, Ephesus, Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, uh, <laughs> Sardis. I'm reading that one. Smyrna. That's it. And tonight we're in Philadelphia. The sixth church. And just let me go recap from here in this second verse, or these three verses of scripture. John writes to all these churches as he is led by the Holy Spirit to write to these churches. Now, watch this. Jesus speaks to him through the Holy Spirit what to write. And what the right to the church is. Watch this. He lets all the five churches previously know who they are and what they're about. Catch this. Who they are and what they're all about. <laughs> so they cannot perpetrate God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost. They all see what the churches, the five churches are individually doing. They also tell with what's in the churches, the mindset, the hearts of the churches. He tells them the truth and nothing but the truth about these five churches. We're going to church number six tonight. He's, going to, he's not going to be any, any different. Then he don't be able to find it. But I love the church of Philadelphia. And notice something, he, even though these churches are, are, are doing some things, he does commend, somebody said, last group or last. He does commend the remnants who, who remain faithful in all the other stuff that the church was doing. There were few who remained faithful to God. But this church, I, I like this church. This is a great church. Ain't a great church, but it's a good church. Ain't a perfect church. I'm going to say something about perfect in a moment, but I want to explain that perfect too. Good church, but not a perfect church. Because there is not a perfect church. There will never be a perfect church until we get the glory. Until we get that. So, let's go. Verse number seven. We have King James Version says this. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right. These things said he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, 
and no man shut it, and shut it, no man opened it. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee, listen this, an open door. <laughs> And no man can shut it, for thou hast little strength, and have kept my word, and hast not denied my name. The verse number nine says this Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which, that, which say they are Jews. And are not, but do lie. <laughs> Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Yeah, that's big. That's a message here. That's a good message. That's a wonderful message. He says. And to the angel, the messenger of the church in Philadelphia. <laughs> Hold it back for a If you notice all of these churches in the King James, use that word right there. In. In Philadelphia, right. In other words, what the Lord is saying to John, right, I'm telling you, right, as we said before, the other churches. This is what I want you to write. This is to the angel in Philadelphia. But it's really to the church in Philadelphia. These things said, now well, before I go any further, I want to call the rest of this verse description. I want to call the rest of this first verse description. Because it describes who the Lord is. These things said he, he was, who is holy, <laughs> or that is holy, and he that is true, he that is authentic, he that is genuine, and he that hath the key of David. We're going to deal with that in a moment, too. The key of David. Here it goes again. He, referring to Jesus. <laughs> Who he had the key of David, he that opened and no man shut it, and shut it, no man can open, or no man open. He described, John writes what Jesus said to write, but he also describes who Jesus is. He not only describes who Jesus is, but he also describes what Jesus will do. That's why I call the scripture. We're going to get deeper. Let's get deeper in there. Listen to this. <laughs> of the seven churches, the church, this is the church of the city of brotherly love. The church of the city of brotherly love. And if you literally look at the city of Philadelphia, they literally call it the city of brotherly love. Watch this. <laughs> was, what's this, this one going to say? Was most, most nearly perfect. Nearly. Was not perfect. But most nearly, nearly perfect. And Jesus had no, what is it? <laughs> had no condemnation against the church. As we read, we will find that had no condemnation, he had no condemnation to this church. <laughs> Jesus, drew a, drew, Jesus drew attention to his holiness. <laughs> And so, you know, when people say, what denomination are you? People say holiness. Mm -hmm. It's not really the holiness. That's the denomination. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 
It's more of a rights now than a denomination. And so he was, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> he drew, draws attention to his holiness, his nature, his character. Oh, my goodness. He is holy. He is a holy one. He is the, which is the title, what is it, which is the title of God. <laughs> he is true, the true one, the genuine, the genuine one. Jesus is divine and shares the holiness of God the Father. Oh my, what's this? Jesus is also genuine Messiah, the king who makes David's throne eternal, that makes David's throne eternal. The key of David, wait, hold on, I'm going to show you some fire conditions. When he talks about in this verse, talks about right here, he says, He that hath the key of David. What does that mean? He that hath the key of David. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll help you out just a little bit. Is your hand up? Well, let me take the Confederate of Cult first. Take the Confederate of Cult. Keep in mind, when David was king, that's all I'm going to tell you. Let me go ahead and tell you. I'm going to give you a little snick me. I wanted to say that it's like authority. There's a, there's a scripture that says here the keys of the death have and the right. And I think that has to do with this. But it doesn't, it might be wrong because I don't have that king thing. Okay. Well, what, are, what, what did you say? The, it says, there's a scripture that says. No, 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 before that. About the, you said the king. king. Yeah, what did you say about that? Because you, you were talking about David being a king. Uh -huh. So a king would have the key to everything. Really? The word you use is the guy just said. What is it? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it a representation of the royal lineage of David? Like the lineage? That line. The, the lineage? The lineage, yeah. Of David? The lineage. <laughs> <laughs> royal lineage. Okay. Authority. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Before I say this, before I comment on both of y'all, anybody else got anything to say? On, on, on that, on, on that, where it says, uh, he that hath the key of David. Anybody else want to comment? Adam? Okay. What you do not remember, you said, Lisa, before you went into the other part, you used the word authority. Mm -hmm. Right, I did. Sister so, Teresa, Uses use the word authority, but she used this way. She said the royal authority. It is connection to what she just said, the lineage of David. And so when he says that, he has the key to David, the authority, the royalty of David. Because David was king. That's why we have that word king in there. That's why I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to give more. I'm going to give you more. What's that? I gave away the next thing. So when he, he says he has the key of David. He has the things of authority, the lineage of time, the authority and the royalty of David. Of David was king of Israel. <laughs> and so I have the keys of David. I have the key of David. I have David's authority. I have David's royalty because I am the lineage of David. But not only that, but I have the divine power of God, which allows me even to be more authoritative and more royal. So I got no <laughs> Go ahead. And just like you said, there's a description that he's basically, you know, just giving the description so uh, 
they know who, so there's no mistake of who he's talking about. Yes. And then the anchor of the church knows that, you know, he's, he, he's speaking on behalf of Christ and this is who he is. Yes. Yes. Let me use this. He just says this came to my mind. He, he uses John writes and he uses Jesus, his authority, his authority. But he lets him know, he says, I'm in charge of the church. <laughs> if I go into the, the rising, Paul says this, he's the chief cornerstone. <laughs> and everybody who's a pastor is the under shepherd to be shepherd. Uh, because there's some of them, I just don't know, I said, I won't ask that my to go. There's some pastors who think they're, 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 they're they're, they're in to make a church. But they're not in control of the church. It's Jesus that's in control of the church. We are under shepherds to be shepherds. And we have to follow the shepherd, the royal one who has the key, the royal and the authority. We need to follow him because he is in charge of the church. <laughs> not to be. He or she is him. Capital H, I am. <laughs> Not lowercase V, T H E M. It's him. He's in charge. He is a royal authority. <laughs> he has already manifested himself <laughs> with his authority. <laughs> Not only his authority, but his power. <laughs> and his use is key. This is this is what I really love. This will help somebody out. He that open, 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 no man can shut it. And shut it, no man can open. He's using his authority to open doors for those who are faithful. Yeah. <laughs> is your hand up? Okay, thank you. I didn't finish. <laughs> I think your hand's through. <laughs> he tells us. He has the key from David. He opened and no one can shut. He shut the man open. He used his royal authority, his supreme being, to open. And I need to help somebody out. He will open a door for you if you stay faithful. He will open a door if you stay committed. And if you open the door and you stay committed, can nobody shut this door? I don't, I don't care how many times you have to shut what has been opened by God, by Jesus. Nobody can shut that. That door is wide open and it's going to stay open as long as we do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> and then it's time to shut the door, can't nobody open that door. The royal authority of those who serve a royal God and a royal Savior. And he has the authority to open doors for you. And I'll show you more in a minute about this church. Open, 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 open. There are times in our lives look at the door shut. Mm -hmm. And there are times in our lives look at the door is not going to be open. But I, 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 the Bible says right here, if this church was a faithful church, we'll get that in a minute too, but I'll take myself ahead of myself, but this church was a faithful church. And since this church was faithful, God says, I'm through Jesus and through John, I'm going to bless this church. And I'm going to open the door for this church. And nobody can shut this door. And when the time you shut it off, nobody can open the door. He goes, I am God. And he said, there is no door. Uh, just do something there. Go ahead. Miss <laughs> uh, Freeman. Of what you're saying, but I was thinking, like, sometimes how I see things that when we come to the church, whoever opens up the most amount of keys, they open up the church door, but they can't open the presence of God. No, mm -hmm. no. they can only be opened by God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if He's the only one that can open, truthfully, sometimes when we dismiss and we say we're having a second service, we can already close the door. But he still has the door open and he says, Not yet. We say it's the second service, but he's still saying, No, I'm still moving. He sometimes he miss it. When he does call the door, it will be called a second service. So I'm just looking at that, how important it is that we have to pay attention to 
He's the one that opened up the presence of God. He's the one that shared it. And sometimes we kind of, I have to be careful when I be ready to worship. Because I'll be ready to kind of shift. And I, I'll be like, just repeat the thing. And then do what you. You know, stay in, stay in, stay in tune where you're supposed to be at. Because you don't know what God wants to do. We're just a vessel. And we're here to be open up. He's opening us up. And we're not supposed to shut ourselves to what he's to be opening, opening us up to. But I want to go further with that. I'll teach you how that. Let me go further with that. That got that. Listen, listen to this. This folk, that opening, right there, that is a multitude of things that he's talking about. Oh, yeah. Here, here's this because God is not, cannot be limited. Amen. There is no limitations on who we serve. Yeah. And so I want to go in the spirit realm. Come on, somebody. And I opened the door in the natural realm. Yeah. Woo! Because if you go through some stuff and you need, you need to go open. <laughs> you, need, you need to, sometimes you need to write that door open. Yes. And so he said, I'm the one that's going to open. I'm the door open. And I need you to stay faithful with me. And I open the door. It looks rough right now. It looks tough right now. But I have the door open. I'm just trying to be a, a, a bad analogy. <laughs> Probably. Well, I'm going to use it anyway. Mm-hmm. It's just like you need some can of green beans. Mm-hmm. You can't open that can of green beans unless you've got the open. Yeah. Right. That's, That's a good right. analogy. Right. Right. And so it, the, 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 the can has to be hooked up. Watch this. has to be hooked up for the can open. And also the can to be open. And if you and I are going to be having doors open, we have to stay connected to Him. The door open. <laughs> because, like the can of green beans or whatever can it is, it cannot be opened until it is tapped or close and hooked up to the can opener. I got a can opener, my wife broke years ago, it still works real good. It literally takes the top off the can. I can't remember what brand it is. But it literally takes the Top of the can off, you know, as soon as they just cut around, this thing literally takes the top off. Literally takes the top off the can. And so if you stay attached to him, to I'm gonna call him a spiritual can over. I see that. If we stay attached to the spiritual can over, he'll open the doors from the top. And the top will pop off. But you gotta stay attached to the spiritual can open. Woo, can't nothing happen until you stay attached. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah, we use. Um, I was looking at this too when I was doing some reading on this. That uh, through his death and suffering, mm-hmm. he has opened that door to salvation. Yes. Nobody can shut that door. No. Only we ourselves can shut that door if we don't remain faithful. That's it. So he's opened that door to eternal life. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, ooh, I hope you're not <laughs> yes, thinking about the analogy you just gave with the can opener, I thought, and it's connecting with our reading that Teresa said, when we were born again, mm-hmm. we entered into the kingdom yes. of God. Yes. So when he opened, he's mm-hmm. opening the blessings that are ours in the kingdom of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is the least of <laughs> I, I was thinking back to it was in a Tuesday prayer one time when you were talking to us about the word of God and that there's no anti-prayer. There's nothing they can do to unwind the work of God. If yes. we hold on to the word of God, if we don't let go, Mm-hmm. There's nothing that can happen. That's the only thing we can do is let go. Uh-huh. Like, once we're holding it, if we just don't let go, mm-hmm. there are no ways that the devil can take it or people can change it. Yes. We have to. Yes. And that's why not coming with your mouth against what you first confessed is important. It's like letting go. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, watch this. You brought it up. Mm-hmm. This room. One of the best writers in the Saints of God, the Gospel of the Lord. He said, We're in his hands. Yeah. And 
que no le toca saber a veces quién es. Pero sí. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> We can fuck ourselves out of things. But nobody else can fuck us out of things. <laughs> and at least we understand this, or suggest to us, is it, it all derives from us. Yeah. <laughs> right. It all derives from us. How else do we want to How else do we want to stay attached to him? How else do we want to stay connected to him? It's all derives from us. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> One day they do from church. It says, and if we are not still connected, yes. we will be left out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like the five foolish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go there, don't go there. Go ahead. I, I'm still on the can. <laughs> because you said when the can is lit, it's a lid off the can. Mm -hmm. Everything that's in that can mm -hmm. is going to come out. Yes, sir. Juice. Man, so because we're in the kingdom of God, whatever we need mm -hmm. is in that kingdom. So when he opened that door in the kingdom, Amen. whatever we need, Amen. Yes. he will release it to us and nobody else can get it. Amen. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bird. Uh, I think the birth is powerful. It's very powerful. Yes. Amen. Because to me, he can uh, let people know who he is. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. And what he can do. Amen. And I got I, the key to David, the authority that he had. Yes. David, you don't have this kind of authority. Yes. It's not given to you. Yes. But it's given to me unto the, from the Father. Yes. Right. The Father, yes. I can have to shout, shout, shout. He, the Father, give it to him. Yes. So you can take your way from it, and you can get it from it. I already can give Yes. Unless I give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about 
about the that, that word, the authority. Uh -huh. Now we have seen people. I have seen people that were dressed like a police officer. <laughs> Had all the, which you would think they were police officers, but we found out they were the police officers, they didn't have no, they have no authority of what the police officer had. And we're not used that, it's us as the people of God. You know, the real people of God, right? From the, from the other ones, right? And they, they got no authority. It comes right. down to the, and they say, it's time to fight, right? They run, right? <laughs> You're right. That's so true, that's so true. Yes, Anybody else? Okay, let me read this for uh, this is on the verse seven. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. I am the one who is holy and true. I have the keys that belongs to David. I love this because it's clear. And when I open a door, no one can close it. And when I close a door, no one can open it. Listen to what I say. <laughs> close it right there. Listen to what I say. <laughs> so Jesus through John is speaking, and at the end, listen to what I just said. <laughs> Yeah, you 
now. That's why I started chopping it because it just came to me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And no man can say it. But that one is that one has a little strength. Let me, ex let me explain because I asked the text a question. I said, what do you mean this church has little strength? It does not mean that it didn't have power. It really means it was a small church. This church right here was not a mega church. This church was few people, but had power. All right, all right. Little strength makes small congregation. When I saw that, I want to scream. And let me know the, the, the word showed me that you ain't got to be big for God's grace. You don't have to be mega to be blessed. This church was a small church. But it said this, he described, I'm going to go this way. He's going to say, for you to describe. Mm -hmm. Reason why I do small churches and you bless the doors been open? God have kept my word. Yes. Yeah. And he goes and said, and, and have not denied my name. Amen. These two little words, the little two little uh, parts at the end says, you have kept my word. And you have not denied my name. <laughs> and I was, you have stayed faithful because what that really means, this church to the desert is a faithful church. <laughs> yes. It's not the building, it's the people that's in the church. Yes. And these people who were in the church and Philadelphia were faithful and committed church people. Amen. And so I, you know, I see what you're doing. And the thing is, what you're doing is authentic and genuine. Mm -hmm. And so I have set before you an open door. Amen. Woo Amen. <laughs> and don't make this up. Amen. <laughs> well, now I'm going to show you because you were small. And don't have to be. Well, I got you because you kept the word. Amen. You have not denied my name. I ain't gonna read my notes, so just, that's a dumb right there. <laughs> but I will go and ask Miss, I mean, Dr. Teresa <laughs> to read Matthew 28, 19, and 20. And this is what she wants to read. Listen to this. Woo! Gee, I want to shout right now. No, I'm gonna dance. <laughs> shout with my voice. I'm already doing that. <laughs> Go ye therefore, verse 19 from Matthew 28. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded thee. And lo, I am with you, even till the end of the world. And you know, he says the end of ages. Amen. <laughs> So say, what are you doing saying in that? He said, I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And what, what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to resign to you, and, and then you're going to make the same. Amen. Mm -hmm. But how you live, you're going you gonna to disciple others. Amen. Mm Watch -hmm. this. Is your hand up? Okay, okay. Let me Watch this. Let me suggest something to us. I have made you a follower. I now reside in you. I now live in you. So I need you to go do what you've learned and make other disciples, make other followers of me. Watch this. I have empowered you. Now you go empower somebody else. And then they're going to empower somebody else. Then they're going to empower somebody else. I thought that that was all fact. The spiritual domino effect. Woo! Jesus. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, those verses that I just read took me back to Sunday school collection. The good news. That's right. And uh, so it, it, it was talking about our lesson to, to not assume. Many people know God, but don't I mean, heard of him, but don't know him, so don't yes. assume it. So our job is to go out and teach. Yes. 
other, you know, about it. So that's uh, just to me back to Sunday's lesson. That while that door is open, mm -hmm. we have an obligation. He has permission. That was that's the commission. That's the great commission. Then you know what? I'm used to work my mother say he said they ain't got nothing to do. We got lots of good. We got we got to disciple, we gotta instruct others Amen. and enlarge the kingdom. Amen. Amen. <laughs> enlarge the kingdom. Kingdom work. That's kingdom work. That's the correct mission. Kingdom work. Amen. And kingdom building. Oh my goodness. Anybody got something? <laughs> Oh, yes, ma'am. Before I go to that, I like the first part you said, know thy work and how you expounded on it. Uh -huh. All of that happened because they kept the faith. That's, that's it. That's, that's, it. that's it. the work. Whatever we do, we still got yes. to keep the faith. Yes. 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 I just want to say that something's happening. You do. This is it. Is. Mm -hmm. Your work mm -hmm. that you are doing mm -hmm. is not in vain. Amen. It may seem like it is. Is it vain? But he gives us, he gives us great instruction. I know you are working as your works. And so, look, see, I have set before you an open door. I set right in your face an open door because I recognize what you do. Mm. And your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Wait a minute. I got something else. You will be blessed right here on earth. You never be blessed so much in the body of God. You will be blessed right now. I, I see what you do. I recognize your authentic work. And behold, see, I have set before you open the door. And no man can shut it up. Ooh, Jesus. That shot is right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> My thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Amen. Things to receive. Oh, it's part of the same thing. <laughs> 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 Them being the faithful church and faithful in the work of the Lord, God's yes. going to open that door for yes. others. Yes. You know, to come on in, to come on in. Exactly. 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 Yes. I want to add to that. It's because of the, 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 their faith, their works, and their instructing others. Yes. 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 So, this is, how much you tell you? <laughs> I'm sorry. We got the same color. Okay, so anyway. Um, uh, I was thinking about how it says, you know, I know your works. See, uh -huh. it's almost like the open door is above the works, like more blessings, not just mm -hmm. I'm blessing those works, but because you've done so well. Look here, you can tell I see it because I've done a big open door for that, maybe, or other stuff. Like, it's stuff you, I know that in my life it's been blessings I don't even know I need or want. And it's amazing. Yeah. And and they are it's just set there. It's open. Yeah. Sit right before you. I can either walk through it or not, it's only choice. Yeah. Like you can take it and say, ooh, that's wonderful. Or not. Right. But no one's taking it away. It's beautiful. It's, it's glorious. Mm -hmm. It's marvelous. And the works it's the works with the right heart don't even really works, they're just thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get rewarded for being thankful for he really, really is so good. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. Better than, I mean, all we have to do is say, wow, you're so good. Yeah. Yeah. He's so good. Amen. He is. He is. He is. He is. Yeah. I'm going to go to first. I'm going to miss Mary. Uh, Pastor, to me, sometimes when it comes down to God's word, sometimes we can try to prove it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we can say, well, I don't think he knew it. I guess. Yeah. And we read it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and it's a power. But I uh, don't just to say, whatever he say, that's what he means. That's exactly right. I tell my son that. When I say something, yeah. that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so don't take it for granted that I'm not, 
Jesus just tell the truth. He said, they're lying. They really ain't Jews because Jews are God's people. <laughs> right. Amen. Amen. And so they perpetrate. And I said about the three times tonight on Friday. <laughs> they perpetrate as being something who they're not. But you who are authentic, I'm going to make the fake phonies fall at your feet. Can I just say something? I'm, I'm trying to maintain to the very, Mr. Very, I'm trying to maintain because I feel them pushing the night. Them false and fake and phony people going to fall at your feet who are real and authentic and genuine and who are real saints of the Most High God. They will fall at your feet and they will recognize that I'm going to you. I'm going to show them the real ones, the authentic ones. I'm going to show them that I really authentically love you. And I'm going to cause them to fall at your feet and worship. And they'll know that I love you. <laughs> Woo and, and another thing is about these things, they the phony Jews who say they are Jews, but they're not. It's a word called apostate. Yes, sir. They are apostate persons. Means they have, watch this, they have forsaken Christ. <laughs> and that's why they call them apostate. They have forsaken Christ. And with their own way. But Jesus says this I'm going to show them who I love. Mm. And I'm going to cause, I'm going to use another word, I'm going to cause, watch this, these arrogant people to humble themselves before you and worship. <laughs> And they will recognize I love you. Amen. <laughs> Woo -wee. Mm. If I put a comment, I, I ain't gonna get my notes, but that was good enough. Okay. <laughs> you were first and then you were second. <laughs> I think that uh people give an example of in the Bible, how that did happen. And, and you know, when you look at Joseph. Yes. Joseph did an example right there. Yes. You know, God loved him, but look what they tried to do to him, his own brothers. His own brothers. Yes. But look at the end. Yes, exactly. It had to come to him. It had to come to him. It had to come to him. Now, when you go to that, it, makes, it takes it to, to, to Genesis 50, chapter 50, and listen to this. The Bible says, you made it for evil, yes. but God made it for my good. Let's be known at least we understand that the, the whole the whole ordeal, what I had to go through with you all. <laughs> Show y'all that God was still with me. When you threw me in a pit, you took my, my coat of many colors and dipped goat's blood on it and told a lie on me and said that he dead. Took my coat to daddy and told him to dead. And then you had uh, you had some kid, and you took me out of the pit when you sold me to the apostle. Oh, <laughs> then my wife lied on me. Then I was in prison, but I kept watching. But in prison, I kept the faith. I didn't change. I didn't deviate one bit. I still did what I'd always done. Ooh. Even in afflictions and in persecution, I still did what I always done. What the for the for the for the this was in me. Ooh, yes. Because one says what's in the person will come out. And what's in me came out. I, what was in me was serving God to the end, and I served him. And God, even if it was future in the trial, he brought me out. He brought me out so I became second to man. In Egypt, gave me rain, gave me fine clothes put on. I had prison clothes on first. Okay, I'm gonna I was a jailbird. All right. He took me from a, being a jailbird to a royalty. Jesus. That's what happens when you stay with God 
and obey God, and, and what's in you will come out, and the, the word of God that's in you will come out, and it will show that God will bless you, and I'm going to use the word, bless your socks up. Amen. Amen. And watch this, because we still have love. Amen. So it's love. Amen. Even when God did what he did to him, uh -huh. he still blessed his brothers. Because what was in him came out. Yes. He could have been vindictive. Because what he did to him. But what was in him, the love of God, and he shed the rock to his brothers and helped them out Amen. in a family. <laughs> Ooh, this is good enough tonight. <laughs> and what? Well, I'll do. I'll, 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 I'll do. I'll do a takeaway in a minute. And what else want to add? Yes, ma'am. Want to read one of the supporting scriptures too? That okay. Verse, uh, it's Isaiah forty-five, mm -hmm. verse fourteen. Mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord. The labor of Egypt and merchandise of Cush and of the Sabians men of stature shall come over to you. They shall be yours. They shall walk behind you. They shall come over in chains. They shall bow down to you. They will make supplication to you, saying, Surely God is in you. Mm -hmm. And well, there is no other. There is no other God. I need to do something. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Read that last part one more time. This is the last part. Where they will make supplication? Uh -uh. Okay, they shall walk behind. Okay. Stop for a minute. Okay. Listen to this. Yeah. They shall walk behind you. Go ahead, sir. Go they ahead. shall walk behind you. They shall come over in chains. Mm -hmm. They shall bow down to you. They will make supplication to you, saying, Surely God is in you. Amen. Amen. They will know it. Mm -hmm. That surely God is in you. That's why I said, What's in him came out. Mm -hmm. God was in him, yes. and God came out of him. <laughs> he could have been vindictive. <laughs> but because, because I'm really saying to the Lord, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna be ready here. I'm still, as God has blessed me, I'm still gonna bless you. And you will know that God is really in me as I bless you. Then he stayed up, and then we're adopted into that glorious sound. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Then you make sure you don't know the Christ. Mm -hmm. He's been mm -hmm. He's been weak. He's been spared. He put a crown of thorns on his head. But watch this. They nailed him to the cross with railroad spikes mm -hmm. right through here, mm -hmm. through his feet. He's on the cross, half dead. Listen to what his words are. Because what's in him came out. Amen. Father, forgive them. And for they know not what they do. He did not say, Father, get me on the cross, let's get him. <laughs> he said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly right. That's love. <laughs> that is authentic and genuine love. He typifies love. Mm -hmm. Joseph typifies love. Mm -hmm. That we should have the ungodly love. Mm -hmm. Not arrows and all the other loves, but the ungodly love. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, I'm still going to love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I like it. Look how he emphasized who made him come. 
Yes. In the Borsha Al Feet, he said, I will make him. Yes. He did. That is, is, is his awesome thing. Amen. Yes. Not yes. because he loved us, but also because we kept the faith. Yes. Kept the faith. Kept the faith. Yep. Anybody else? I'm done. This is this was good. Amen. This was good. Real good. <laughs> it all comes to my mind that God is not saying, the Lord is not saying anymore. No. He, he's giving people a chance and an opportunity mm -hmm. to be sad. Uh, it's just took my mind off that. Yeah. 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 You know, so tell me all that that's what he was not saying. Right. So I was asking. Oh, he just, he went out. <laughs> I'm coming out. So it wasn't it ain't getting about too much. He had a truck. Yes. To come into the fold, yes. come into the real. Yeah. You don't have to be around nobody to accept Christ as your personal savior. But I never sure how he was doing. But it's time to put fun in it. Yes. God is speaking to those. And I'm, I'm talking about a person being around the church. Yes. Oh, he was getting with me. Yeah, did with yeah. But when I said that, he was out. Mm. And I said, Well, Lord, I didn't mean him home. Exactly. I'm just doing what you told me to do. Right. But I didn't know how this was going to come about. Right. Fact that we don't have time. Amen. We ain't got time be, to be pretending. Pretending mm -hmm. like we somebody we ain't. That's what I was doing. Pretending like you holy, but you don't know way. Well, you can get holy. Amen. You can get it. Then he died for you to be. And it's your choice to do that. But it's up to you to do it. Got to get the people that you are okay. You know yourself. I don't know you. I'm not around. But it's just calm down. And you know, that's to me, that he let you know. He can the people I love. Because they keep in my word. They keep in my commandments. I love them. And people go let uh, know that that's what he all about. That he loves us. It might not go well like you, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because everything going to line up with me. It's good. It's good. Anybody else? Okay, I'm, I'm going to read this to you now. Do a takeaway. Let me go to verse 8. I know everything you have done. And I have placed before you an open door. You were very strong, but you obeyed my message <laughs> and did not deny you are my followers. Verse 9. Now you will see what I will do with those people who belong to Satan's group. They claim to be God's people, but they are liars. I will make them come and kneel down at your feet. Then they will know that I love you. The takeaway tonight, very briefly, is as long as we do what God says we God is going to bless us mightily from the doors in an awesome way. And I just want to close with this maintain. If you walk with God, maintain. If you're not, Start walking with God. Yeah. Start walking with God. Because we see the light. In these three verses, what happens, the blessedness of serving God yes. and the 
doors that will open by being faithful and committed to the Lord. And he'll even make those faithfulness fall in your feet and know that I love you. That's the thing. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you this time. But next week, you will be dealing with this church. Good day. Verses uh, 10 through 12. Next week. 10 through 12. Next week. Yes. Next week. Hmm? No, it, it, it is, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got to do the reports because it's, it, it, the, uh, the, the, the public procedure is to do that. But I don't necessarily have to go do that. Uh, and I've got to be like, like go to do maps that you ask me. Thank you. <laughs> so we will we'll still do maps that next week. Amen. Yeah, we know it's one thing one of the two out uh, for turnout reports so I can do that and uh, maintain what we're doing uh, according to our. Uh, uh, I'm just sitting. That's really what we're going to say. Yeah. You got to keep doing it. You got to do a quarter. But we'll still have ours there. Amen. Next Wednesday, we'll still have it. So we'll look at this church to the death and some more next week. Yes. Yes. Any, any prayer requests? No? Okay. Yes, sir. Most gracious little ones, Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored upon us even when you have And God, we just so elated from the blessings of God that gives us interest and gives us motivation to keep on serving you. Oh God, and, 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 and even in, in such a fashion that, that, that knowing that you love us and that you will open doors. For us, you have set before us an open door. Oh God, have us be encouraged through this, these three scriptures, and be strengthened through it by your word. Oh God, just help us, God, to maintain and not walk with you on this journey to maintain and do what we're supposed to do on this journey that we can still walk in open door that you have set before us. Oh, God, help us from God. And God, we come to you with the names that are before us. Uh, so, Corey, we had foot surgery. We pray for the recovery. She'll spring for speedy, God. Oh, God, uh, the, the mending and, and, and all will, will mend properly uh, without any complication. We pray that you move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. Bless the Diana family, God. Bless and touch them with your mighty hand, God. Also bless the uh, nice family. Bless them in the mighty way, God. And God, I pray you bless all of our sick, name by name, and one by one. Touch and bless with your mighty and awesome hand. And God, I pray God you bless God uh, those uh, uh, in the Congress and Senate and the President that you will guide them and direct them in their decisions. That God make the right decisions for the people and for the country, God. Oh, God, just move by your mighty hand and your mighty. God, I pray, God, you bless your people everywhere. Those that are serving God, to serve you like never before. Serve you with an urgency, God. Oh, God, heaven, God, and those who are slack and slow, God, touch their hearts. Oh, God, be more motivated and be on the move to serve you like never before. Touch their hearts, touch their minds in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, you bless on them Sunday morning, God. You be everything you've done and say that will bring you honor and bring you glory. Mm -hmm. God, I pray that you have us come, God, with one mind, one spirit, and be one accord, God. If you set in the room with the anointing, with your presence and your Chicago, God, go down to every aisle, every pew, and anoint a fresh God. Oh, God, touch lives, touch hearts, God. In the name of Jesus, as we protect on the Lord's table, 
that we would be mindful of the seriousness and the, and, and the importance of the Lord's table now. You know what he said? As often as we do it, we do so for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And his death and his suffering on Calvary's cross. As often as we do that, God, help us, God, be mindful of that, God. And I pray, God, you bless us mightily, bless us abundantly, God. As you leave your house, go out of various ways, get in every vehicle, bind every mechanical problem, dispatch your angels right by where you people. Come to the blood, God, come to the blood. We pray, say, travel, travel, mercies. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you. Now to him that's able to keep you from falling, present you fall before the presence of the Lord God our Savior, the glory, rest, and dominion power, both now and forever. And the people of God said, Amen. God bless you, God keep you. Until next time, the Lord say the same. Blessings.